Hello YouTube, welcome to Camp Collab, it's where I collab with other artists to make something happen. My name is Jay, and you are in part one of two episodes of this editing tutorial. Basically, backstory is, um, I had my birthday last month, which was in May, right now it's June, and um, normally I like to go away from the city uh, on my birthdays, uh, hop on a plane, go somewhere, explore, explore the world. Um, this time I didn't hop on a plane, I used my car, drove to Flagstaff, Arizona, and I had a ball, uh, had an Airbnb, it was great. I also went to Phoenix. I met up with um, this beautiful model named Emily. Um, very talented, very young, very, uh, very beautiful. I will link Emily's Instagram page as well as mine and also the gear that I used in this photo shoot. I hope you guys like this uh, tutorial. Without further ado, what's going on guys? This is Jay, Cam Collab, editing tutorial. And basically, we're gonna tackle with, we're gonna edit Emily's photos again. Um, I got a set here where she's up against the wall. She's playing with her hair here. And just really nice looks. Very focused on the face, the smile. So I'm, I figured this is, this is a good um, picture to set up set a set an editing preset or a set set my edit so I can just uh, copy here and here and here and here but I think I like this really I like to work on this but just for editing purposes let's work on this one so um I like to well I kind of want to hide this so I have a bigger screen so uh I guess that's better and let's start so again I want to keep it consistent with this look but let's just try it anyway so right off the bat I I think it's too much um, just the highlights are kind of blown so maybe we can adjust here um, a little more color on her face so it's already bringing out this kind of look ish but apparently this is more darker than this one um, I like it but you know what let's reset it let's see if we can uh, get a better better look um, so right now I got highlights a little too strong I want to put some of that out, put some more color in her skin, and then naturally the shadows are going to be darker. So, contrast, spread it out. The exposure is, is fine for now. Whites, I tend to turn down the whites because I want to put color instead of a white highlight black I want to accentuate the blacks because black is supposed to be black um, and then right off the that that makes the uh, the shadows um, like the mids right here it's um, it's more magenta it's, it's pinkish all, all over this this photo it's more pinkish so I'm gonna turn down the the magenta a little bit and Put a little more uh, warm warmness on the on the highlights. Um, as far as the here, this is when if it's a little underexposed, I kind of want to put the light up here, but be cautious that the highlights don't go up. So the darks, kind of, I know I I turn the blacks down, but darks, the shadows are down. So it's uh. It's highlighted proportionally. So as far as the colors, I, I'm probably not gonna follow this um, teal and orange. 
but just just make it fresh, you know. Um, but before I change any of the colors, I kind of wanted to mess with the the highlights and the shadows, the split toning, because that kind of gives me a base of how I'm uh, how I can adjust these other colors uh, and the, and its intensity. So the highlights, I kind of um, want it to be cool. Is there highlights? It's uh, I can I can tell the green is are coming up. The shadows. This is more of a retro look, like that. Boom. So it's up to you if you wanna you go a little warmer or l a little colder. Let's go a little warmer. So again, we're doing we're getting to that teal and teal and um, orange look that I like sharpen a little bit no more masking no uh, noise reduction this what I should have done first and foremost but I can still do it um, mm, that's fine vignette let's focus on her so we close out the vignette again I'm gonna accentuate um, every model that I have, I, I want to accentuate, make them look as thin as possible, of course. Oop, not rotating. Okay, so, so that's my secret. It's not a secret anymore. Yes, so vertical and aspect. Just, uh, yeah, just make it more realistic. So, boom. Put it in proportion. Highlights, I kind of want colors more, color priority more. Boom. This is my signature. All right, boom. Because if I go for the highlights, it doesn't make much difference, but rest assured it's, it's, it's balanced. Uh, grain, some grain, because uh, a little, a little more grain than normal. Twenty six, and then um, dehazing it makes it punchier. Um, on the minus, it's more hazy, but I kind of want to just leave it with zero for now, because. Um, I kind of wanted to use the the visco preset that I have as far as the I like to go to my primaries uh, blue pops the red and then if it's too red I kind of want to shift it to the orange 14 15 boom and a little more see this blue here punch it punch it a little more too not too much so Make adjustments with the yellow and the green. Just a little bit on the yellow side because it's too red. If it's really too red, then you can minus it here. But kind of, kind of like it. So, boom. This is what we got so far. So we got a very, fairly very saturated, orangey kind of look. Um, so let's, let's kind of mess with that um, clarity I want to get things a little more emphasized and then vibrance low it lower it saturation uh, not too much but right there vibrance is good so I got af after that um, I got this kind of more of a vintage look now from here to here so because of the obviously because of the the desaturation so I got a couple presets that could probably help me but this is a good look almost the same look kind of uh, just change the highlights but that's more of a two-tone so I like my tones but let's see if um, if the fader can do something. So damn, the 
that makes it really vintage right there. I don't want it too faded. I kind of want it. Look at this. It's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, I like this fairly faded look. Just so I just got to be careful with my my saturations because it could be it could harm it. Um, fifty fifty five hundred. This is very warm. I kind of want to punch the whites a little just to brighten up brighten it up. I could I or I could put the ISO expo a little just a tad all right so I noticed that um, she got some bangs and that's okay um, what I can probably do just the easiest way is to deset it using the luminance luminance um, I can put it up so it's lighter and whiter it's still natural it's definitely a natural look um, or I can go to the saturation but I don't want to lose all the reds because we've invested on that so that's better as you can see from here to here it's less apparent but we lost some of the you know the natural oranges uh, that's fine. Nobody's gonna notice, like the walls orange, and this. The only thing that kind of is apparent now is these her spots on her face. So we're gonna fix that quickly. Um, and everybody has little things on their faces, which is all natural. We're gonna zoom out a little bit. If I can, damn it. All right, so boom. Just quick stops on these blemishes. Uh, okay. Oh, uh, okay. Where's my photo? All right. So especially this one, and um, a little bit here. Not too much. I mean, look, this is this is it. This is natural. This is um, not Photoshop. It's edited, not photoshopped. So I mean, from A to B, it's a world of difference right now. Let's take a closer look. Boom. Very much more appealing. This is crazy, crazy good. All right. So, I think, uh, what else? Hmm. Boom, boom, boom. Is it too much fade? Um, or we could, we could darken more of the blacks a little bit more. So, more blacks. More blacks. More contrast. Ooh, no. Ooh. So I like this. This is, uh, uh, so her bags are, again, a little more emphasized. But the look is natural. Sticking with this. Because, the only because the fade kind of, too much fade, it's, it's not, I'm not really... A fan of it but this look is 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 good um see if it works on almost all these so I'm gonna sync it I know I did check all I know I did um spot removal so I'm gonna take that off and I'm also gonna take the um, most of the time I take the crop out because some crop the the every picture is different as far as cropping Transformation, not so much a difference. Um, synchronize. Boom. Liking it. I know the... Mm, it's natural. That's... Uh, that's... 
That's beautiful. So, and it's focused on. Uh, so it just depends if if it's the picture, and the obviously the the face is right here in the middle. Here it's more in the top, very much top, top part of the picture so that's gonna that's affecting the, the the vignette so I would pull back on the vignette a little bit because or even put it on highlight because the the emphasis is more on, on the top now same as this same as this same as this same as all of these so what I'm gonna do is Use this to copy and sync on all of them, which are the same anyway. So it's just, just you know, these little details that you can't miss. Before you post, you want to make sure everything is squared. Uh, this is a good look too. So let's see if it works. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So we just gotta boost it up. So this look is more more high fat, I mean uh, more Instagram fashion like as opposed to this one is more portraits. But everything works. See? I can even push it to 2.3 on expo on the exposure. It's good. It's a good different look. So so I hope you guys like this tutorial guys. Um please like, subscribe, comment. What kind of changes would you want um, if it, if you had this? Um, would you like me to put it available for you guys to re-edit? Let me know in the comments below. And I uh, hope to see you guys on the next tutorial, next video. Or camp collab where I collab with other artists to make something happen. Take it easy, guys. Bye.